Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a brand new Nintendo DIY inspired by Pokemon. And of course, I'm really excited this month because Pokemon Snap comes out on the 30th. And I cannot wait to play that. So if you guys want to see me play that, definitely head over to my Twitch channel. All of my social media will be down below in the description. Okay, so when it comes to this Nintendo DIY, it is very easy and simple to do, especially if you stick to one Pokeball. However, I decided to do all 62. So I will showcase all of those Pokeballs in this video. But before we get started with the tutorial, I wanted to thank our sponsors today. Of course, our sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community where you can learn just about anything, ranging from thousands of classes such as lifestyle, photography, graphic design, and more, including my personal favorite, fine art. I highly recommend checking out Telling an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute, taught by Halise Narvarez. It's helped me with my DIY videos, not only for Instagram, but TikTok too. The first 1,000 people to use the link down below in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only 10 bucks a month. Thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring not only this Nintendo DIY, but a lot of our Nintendo DIYs. I am super thankful for this partnership. So when you guys are ready, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm really excited for today's Nintendo DIY. It is once more inspired by Pokemon and they are coming out with a brand new game on the 30th this month, which of course is a classic and childhood favorite, Pokemon Snap. So I'm really excited to again be playing that game. If you want to check out my live streams, they are once more on my Twitch channel, all the social media links down below in the description. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own gigantic Pokemon Pokeball necklace. Again, I've made all of the 63 different types of Pokeballs, including the brand new ones that have been featured um, in some of their games. Of course, the Beast Ball and the Arceus Pokeball. I want to elaborate that you don't have to make all the different types of Pokeballs. There are 63, I believe, in total. Uh, again, you don't have to. It's a very tedious task. If you want to just stick to your personal favorite, definitely feel free to do so. Here I actually stuck with the original Pokeball. It was very, very easy to make, and again, I highly recommend this instead of trying to make all 63, unless you are very dedicated and determined and you actually have experience painting on something pretty small. So again, you can definitely do whatever you want. Choose your favorite Pokeballs or stick to one that you like. I was thinking that if anyone out there, let me know in the comments below, if anyone out there is graduating with a master's degree, it would be really cool to wear this on your graduation, but instead of using the regular Pokeball, you would actually use the master Pokeball. So that is, I think, a pretty cool idea. Nonetheless, this is a really nice way to um, just show off your love for Pokemon. It definitely goes with a lot of outfits, which is pretty cool, but it is a statement piece. So it is very outlandish, it's big, it's out there. People will definitely know that you are a huge fan of Pokemon. And if you don't want to use this Nintendo DIY as a necklace, you can definitely use this and display it in your room. You can actually make a garland out of this as well. So there's a lot of ways you can actually incorporate this Nintendo DIY. I did actually coat these Pokeballs in a high gloss resin. So if you want to do that, I will link those materials down below in the description, but it does take a while to resin. If not, you can even use a spray to coat these as well. It's totally up to you, but I mean, if you have the time, a resin is just so gorgeous overall. If you plan on making this Nintendo DIY or any Nintendo DIY that you see on my channel, definitely share it with me on my social media, hashtag it Nintendo DIY or at me. I would love to see your guys' work 
and of course again feature it in the next video. Sometimes you guys are so much more creative than I am and I would love to see pictures of this if anyone actually recreates this. Overall it's a very fun and um, innovative Nintendo DIY. It's just really cool to have again. I'll probably hang this in my room. I don't know if I'll be wearing this with an outfit anytime soon, but who knows. Uh, definitely again check out all my social media down below in the description to keep up with me and let's just get started with this Nintendo DIY. <laughs> Okay guys, jumping right into this brand new Nintendo DIY inspired by Pokemon. Of course, Pokemon Snap coming out on the 30th. This is a very simple Nintendo DIY. And again, all materials will be listed down below in the description for you. If you plan on making all 63 Pokeballs, you will need a ton of wooden beads. However, if you're just making a necklace for you, I would recommend getting at least 25 to 30, depending on how long you want the necklace to be. You can attempt this process with whatever size beads you want but of course today's video is about the large wooden beads so we'll be using those throughout this video today and this is again my personal favorite because it's so outlandish go ahead and grab the paint that you'll need I like to start off with the white I think it's easier and a lot of the pokeballs that you see actually have a white bottom use that white to actually cut the bead in half that way you know later on where to place the black line when it comes to especially painting white, you definitely want to add as many layers as possible. Make sure that you wait for each layer to completely dry. I highly recommend that you work on other Pokeballs while this layer is drying. That way you're not waiting for each layer to dry. I do believe that white takes several more layers than any other color. So again, be very, very patient. The secondary color I'll be grabbing is of course red. We'll be making the original Pokeball. This is the easiest Pokeball to make out of all the different types that are in the Pokemon realm. So I highly recommend you start off with the original Pokeball. Begin to apply that red to the top part of the bead by following the guideline you made with the white. If you happen to paint over the white with red, it is totally okay. Just go ahead and paint another layer of white over it. Keep in mind, if you make any mistakes in this Nintendo DIY, it actually is very easy to fix. Just don't panic and again, paint over whatever section you want to fix, just in case if you happen to apply paint where you don't want it to be. I can definitely say the hardest part when it comes to this Nintendo DIY is not only applying the black line, but also of course the middle circles. But again, take your time and patience is key. Using a very small brush, go ahead and paint over that border with black. When it comes to applying the black, you can actually use painter's tape to help you out. Here I'm freestyling it because you know I live on the edge. However, if you want it to be uniform and you're not really confident when it comes to handling a steady brush, I do again recommend you use painter's tape. So when it comes to the circles in the middle, you can actually go ahead and use a pencil to draw out the circle. It's really useful when it comes to wanting all the Pokeballs to be very uniform. I personally like to struggle and freeform everything, but I recommend that you use a stencil, draw out the circle with a pencil, and then go ahead and paint it. All right, guys, unless you're doing all 63 Pokeballs, you are almost done with the original. So the only thing that's left is to do the smaller circle within the larger one, and that is of course white, so go ahead and grab your white paint. Just like I said with the larger black circle, you can actually again use a stencil or a pencil to draw out this circle. I am, of course, freestyling it, but I highly recommend it that you use a pencil and a stencil. It really just helps you out. If you plan on making all the other types of Pokeballs, stay tuned. I will teach you how to apply the clay onto the Pokeballs. That way you can make all the different types and I'll go through every single type of Pokeball that is currently out there in the Pokemon universe. Once more, the OG Pokeball is super easy to make. However, if you want to make, let's say the Master Ball, this is how you do it. The very first thing before you apply any paint is to actually put clay wherever it's needed. So the Master Ball actually has two half circles on either side and I'll be using Epoxy Sculpt which again will be listed down below in the description. It's a two part resin which means it is going to adhere to the surface very well. In fact, it'll dry like concrete. But keep in mind, it takes about two hours to dry and then 24 hours to fully cure, but you can actually have a working time of again, two hours. If you plan on making all the other types of Pokeballs, I highly recommend using a lot of reference pictures 
The master ball is pretty easy, like I said, so I'm splitting the clay in half, and then I'll be placing those two halves onto either side of the bead. I am once more freestyling this, but if you want a layout, I highly recommend that you draw on the details first. That way you know where to place the clay. After 24 hours, you can go ahead and sand down the clay, or you can just go ahead and immediately paint it. It's totally up to you. Once again, I made all the different types of Pokeballs except for the transparent ball, but once I was completely done, I went ahead and grabbed some string and started to thread the beads. I want to reiterate that I actually concealed these beads with resin. However, there are sprays out there that you can definitely use. I have enough Pokeballs to make three different types of necklaces. However, I just made two. The first necklace I made was a necklace filled with all of my personal favorite Pokeballs. And then the second necklace I made was just of original Pokeballs. I am definitely making one with just the Master Ball because Jason will be graduating soon with his master's degree. So when he does graduate and hopefully if he walks he'll be wearing a necklace filled with just the master ball there are so many options that you guys can do this entire nintendo diy is for you definitely choose the pokeballs you want make the necklace and wear it with pride okay guys it's time to go through all the different types of pokeballs we already have the og out of the way this is the bulbasaur ball Next up is the Charmander Ball, which is of course my favorite. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite Pokemon starter from the first gen? Here we have the Squirtle Ball, which is actually Jason's favorite. Next up is one of my top five favorite Pokeballs, and that is the Pikachu Pokeball. I actually put metallic gold paint into the Lightning Bolt. The next one is a weird one, and this is the Numbered Ball. My favorite number would have to be 22, so I'd put that in the middle. Next up, we have one of my top fives, which is of course, Richie's Pokeball. This is such a cool Pokeball, like definitely one of my favorites. Here we have the fishing Pokeball. Let me know if you guys actually fish in real life. Coming up is one of the most sparkly Pokeballs in this whole series, and this is the diamond Pokeball. I actually placed small diamonds on the top. Next up we have the captain's ball and this is very plain and simple. We even have the green ball which is of course as plain and simple as the captain's ball. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite color. Here we have one of the most recognizable pokeballs, the great ball. Out of the most distinguished pokeballs, I definitely have to admit that the ultra ball is one of my favorites. We are in the presence of one of the most recognizable Pokeballs, the Master Ball. Here we have the Safari Ball, and keep in mind we have two different types of designs. My personal favorite is of course this camo looking one. I think the colors are just amazing. Maybe I should do like an Arctic camo? Hmm. Here we have the Level Ball, and I actually applied clay to the V shape in the front. Next up, we have two different types of the Lure Ball. Let me know which one is your favorite. And I did apply gold to the front. We have one for those Night Owls, and this is the Moon Ball, one of my favorites for sure. If you love meeting new people and building those relationships, this is the perfect Pokeball for you, the Friend Ball. Next up, for all you romantics out there, this is the Love Ball. Let me know if this is one of your favorites. This is definitely not one of the lighter Pokeballs. This is the Heavy Ball. Next up, coming in a flash, is the Fast Ball. One of my all-time top five favorite Pokeballs. All right, for all you sports fans out there, this is the Pokeball for you, the Sports Ball. If you like a clean look, this is the Premier Ball, and it's definitely in your favorite style. One of the hardest designs to paint on a Pokeball, and this is the Repeat Ball. The next Pokeball has one of my favorite color combinations, black, red, and gray. This is the Timer Ball. For all you outdoorsy people out there, this is the Nest Ball. Next up is one of the most tedious Pokeballs to make using clay, the Net Ball. One of my favorite designs of a Pokeball is the Dive Ball. I definitely had to add clay to the teardrop. Hands down, the most bougie Pokeball out there is the Luxury Ball. Let me know if you guys consider this one of your favorites. 
For all those people who love to play healers in any type of video game, this is the Heal Ball. The next Pokeball that looks like it's breaking the sound barrier is the Quick Ball. Here I have the Dusk Ball, which fades into a nice light green. Next up is one of the coolest Pokeballs, the Cherish Ball. For those who like to go to the park on a very sunny day, this is the Park Ball. Next up is a lighter, brighter version of the Park Ball. However, I still like the original. Part of my top five favorite Pokeballs, this is the Dream Ball for all you dreamers out there. Painted in gold is, of course, the GS Ball. I consider this Pokeball a favorite among hikers, the Lake Ball. Next up, we have the Giant Stone Ball. Here we have the Gold Ball, which does have a tint of gold. Right alongside the weird ones, we have the Pokelantis Pokeball. Let me know what is your favorite Pokemon movie. One of the hardest ones to paint, this is the Chansey Ball. Let me know if this is one of your favorites too. Hands down, one of my top favorite Pokeballs, this is the Crystal Ball. One Pokeball that brings me back to my childhood is the Clone Ball. These two Pokeballs are Annie's and Oakley's Pokeball. Let me know which one is your favorite. Hands down, one of my top favorite Pokeballs, which is of course the Team Rocket Pokeball, specifically the one on the right. One of the most important questions, are you Team Magma or Aqua? Let me know in the comments below. Next up is the Team Plasma Pokeball, one of the hardest logos to paint. How fast can you type? Because if you can type fast, this is the type of Pokeball for you. Next up is the Dark Pokeball. Next up is Lococo's old Pokeball. Let me know how fast you can say that three times in a row. Next up is Sammy's old Pokeball. And straight from Pokemon Snap, this is the Pester Ball. It was perfect that we were working with wooden beads because it made it so much easier to make the Arceus Pokeball from Pokemon Legends. Finally, the last one that I made was the Beast Ball. Let me know if this is one of your favorites too. I hope you guys enjoyed this brand new Nintendo DIY inspired by Pokemon Snap. Thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. If you happen to make this Nintendo DIY or any Nintendo DIY, definitely share it with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All of my social media will be down below in the description. But more importantly, do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.